boy. So now we're at Terror Tubes, which is um, I ca I do like this level after playing quite a, quite a bit, but I still like only like the first half of it. The second half of this level really uh can go su can go uh, just suck it because I don't like it because it's uh because it, it cheats you out if you um aren't careful. And these robots right here, take your time to fight them because if you touch them, they will uh, explode and instantly kill you. If I had it happen quite a few times when I uh. Forgot that one of them was actually nearby, like this one right here. So just be patient, take your time. I wasn't close enough to punch him, but they, uh, so he electrocuted me for, uh, three blocks of health. Just take your time in punching them. And this is where they also introduce, uh, swimming, which is, uh, it's functional, but it is kind of finicky, I gotta say. Well, maybe not so finicky, just kind of floaty. Yeah. <laughs> So now you gotta race these cogs right here. The the cogs you race on the ground are not that difficult to um to erase. Right here, hug the wall so you don't hit the spikes. They kill you in one hit. And right here, you gotta wait till the cog comes over to you so you can dodge it. Um, and just just move your ass. And over here, when you're in the water, jump so you can get some speed. Jump over here again. Over here, since it's so short, just walk over, jump, move. And there you go, it's done. Well, almost. We got another one, and we're reaching the halfway point already. Oh, that part right there uh, with the spice, if you don't land on the platform and you just fall right through, you won't be able to hug the wall and you'll just die. I've had that happen twice to me, and I never did that again. So now we're at the second half of this level, with the whole swimming and stuff. Uh, actually, in this run, I get pretty fortunate, and I don't uh, lose as many lives as I had expected. Mainly because there are jumps like this, which is somewhat difficult. Uh, if you get to the top and you hold the A button as you go right through the top, you'll do a, a full jump. But you could do what I do, where um, you skip on the water for a bit. I didn't do it right there, but I did it beforehand. And right here is another robot. Also, you want to try and get through this as quickly as possible, or else the game spawns like several enemies uh, around here. Like that golden hammerfish. Watch out for him. Uh, when I was doing it on stream, four of them appeared right there, and it was pretty dangerous because uh, all the fishes, they don't have to actually uh, kill you with their attacks. They can just knock you into the spikes and just kill you instantly. So try to take care of any of the fishies if they're in your way. Don't go out of your way to go kill them because uh, you'll, you'll just ruin yourself. Now right here comes a shark, which I lure down so I can kill it without being knocked into the spike. Later on, that shark takes uh, six, seven hits hits after. And also, the hitbox uh, when hitting them is uh, quite wonky, too. There's a one up there, so grab that. Now we come to a rather difficult part where you have to swim, uh, race the clogs in the, the cogs in the water. That one wasn't too hard, but this one's pretty difficult because not only do you have to race it and do it really fast, you have to jump out of here, and that's... Uh, that's pretty difficult, as uh, I discovered going back, because I actually got lucky there, so that was pretty good for this run. Still gotta swim a little more, swim a little more, move my ass. Oh yeah, I didn't mention this, but when you're in those uh, spike pits, just punch in the air and you will, won't uh, sink or move at all, so that's a good idea for that. Now we're nearing the end, and this is what I was talking about, where the fishes just knock you into the spikes and not have to kill you. So what you should do here, and what I should have done, is not what I did right there, because I, uh... Oh right, I get killed by the duck here, didn't I? Yes, you get killed by, uh, rubber duckies in this, uh, game too. Because I, I screwed up my timing of the punch and he just killed me right there. So yeah, kills you in one hit, you can't do anything about it. So here's what you should do at this point with the shark. Stand in... Stand, uh, put your back against the wall... So that he can't knock you into any spikes and just knock him down and make a run for it. Or make a swim for it, I should say. So, punch this duck properly and they'll go and they'll flip to the side. Now, uh, you can't destroy these ducks. You can knock them out and they'll come back. So, uh, I was talking with Daniel about this and you can probably grind uh, some points for it. Because they do give you 5,000 points. Jump over that duck. Don't punch him back or else... Uh, you're gonna get screwed because later on, later, very shortly, and I was just making sure the emulator wasn't screwing up on me, uh, there's another duck. So punch him away and just jump past him. I have not been killed by that duck uh, for as long as I remember. Right here you want to lure the uh, gold, the goldfish, uh, the hammerfish. I didn't see him anywhere here until uh, later, so I'm like, okay, let's just go past this. And he's right up there, so 
I get lucky here and hit him before he hits me. And this shark, avoid him, go up here and put your back against the wall so you can kill him. Because he will screw up your uh, game right here because there are so many spikes here. I and mean, he knocks you in any one of them. And you have to go back to that checkpoint where that one up was. So he takes way more hits right here. So it's like the fourth hit right now. So just keep punching the air. Keep your back against the wall. That's the fifth hit. Uh, the, 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 that fish looks like a like a, those goldfish crackers. Mm, I kind of want some. Hmm, apparently, only that only took six hits. So swim past it. Not too difficult. And if you look to the right side, you'll see what's coming up next. So it's not quite something that you're gonna blindly go right through. And watch out for that duck. He'll kill you in one hit. And when you're over here, don't do a running jump. Just jump for it and hold the A button to float. So just dodge all these. It's a pretty simple pattern. Left, right, left, right. And when you reach the bottom, go all the way to the right. And you've beaten Terra Tubes. Not too difficult. Oh boy. So now we're going to be at the Rat Race, which pro will probably drive most people crazy because of the third race. And I am one of those people... Uh, I was driven crazy by the third rat race because it was just absolutely ass. But I did get good at it, and I do have to make a mention. If you're playing it on emulator, he's actually slightly faster, as I've noticed. And, uh, yeah, those puffs of uh, smoke or gas, they kill you in one hit. I accidentally uh, mistimed, and I just died. That was pretty embarrassing. But that's what would have happened with the other gas, other gas that comes uh, flying at you in the other levels. So, the first two races... Not too difficult. You can pretty much screw up as much as you want, almost. So, just, you know, get get with the flow and uh, learn to drop really fast in these uh, parts, too. Because uh, you want to be really quick on this on the third race. But there are two ways to get past, or actually three ways to get past this with uh, ease. Now, you see how I kicked the bottom right there. If you uh, hit the rat, like you ram into him and uh, kick him off the stage, you can actually end the level early. Uh, because he, the rat was giving a, a boss status, and since the boss of this level gets killed, the level just ends. So here's the second race. I try to move my ass, punch him. Uh, oh yeah, speaking of punching him, uh, that, oh, I saw that rat. You cheated and clipped right through the wall. Yeah, these rats cheat, by the way, because of programming errors or whatever. But um, there's this thing where uh, you can ram the rat to give, you, give yourself some more time, but I fortunately was fast enough that I didn't really need to. I even screwed up there, and just as long as they're in these, um, these little zigzag holes that you go right through, you do a good job at it, because it's the only place that actually stops the rat. I try to punch the- I try to knock the rat off, but with no success. Uh, but- Oh yeah, there's also a glitch where if, like, the rat go- the rat will- like, uh, there's a glitch where the rat will sometimes go off the stage, and, like, he will never fall down when you finish the race, and you have to reset the game. Now here comes the fastest rat race, and- uh, Did you see that? He- he- fucking clip right through the wall. This rat's a cheating motherfucker, because not only is he fast, he falls faster than you, so I had, you have to get good at this part where I'm at right now with the zigzags, because um, if you do it really fast, you can just outrun him, but if you can't outrun him, uh, during these straightaway parts, by the way, you don't have to double tap for him, so it's awfully nice of the game designers to do that, you can ram him to give yourself some more time. So, right here, do it again. They make you do this uh, twice, so Try to make your uh, try to uh, do some sharp turns instead of uh, so that you can you know not waste as much time. I almost make it here, but this last part is fucking bullshit. Look, what was I supposed to do? The electricity there just like stops me from like doing anything. It's bullshit. It, why why did why the fuck did they have to put it there? Speaking of the electricity, if uh, you see the middle one popping up, you can still jump right through it. Ugh, that was pretty dangerous. I almost died for a stupid reason. But uh, this time I win, so uh, thank goodness for that, because uh, I was stuck here for a long, long time. Oh yeah, during the moving platforms, just jump, so you don't get slowed down by having to uh, run out, run against it. Yeah, I did punch that rat a few times, but uh, aside from that, I uh, move much, mu I move pretty, pretty much faster than him. But uh, on NES, it's a lot different, because. Uh, in my, from uh, my playing experience on the NES and the emulator, I tend to slip up a lot more on the emulator than on the NES. The NES was a lot more sharper and more precise. So I'm trying to move my ass right here. Almost did this without uh, attacking the rat. As in ramming him during these sections, I punched him earlier to get him, uh, to get, to buy myself some more time. Get through this, wait for the electricity, and kick the bomb off the stage. Oh my god. 
And then we gotta fight the easiest boss in this entire game. Really, you shouldn't die fighting General Slaughter. Uh, first, on the first uh, three hits, uh, he lets you hit him, but make sure you ram right into him, or else he'll uh, shove his horns up your ass. So just chase after him for a little bit, punch him, and he gets faster with each hit because he's getting irritated. And once he gets too fast to like uh, actually hit, stay to one of the sides and just uh, you'll, you'll see what I do later on because it's uh, it's pretty safe, making this fight much much easier than it much much easier than it already is. So now he's too fast for me, so I jump to one side, and I wait for him. When he comes next to me, I, uh, and land, I punch him. But, uh, make sure you, uh, both of you land at the same time, because you see that arm slam I did? Because, um, he can land on you and instantly kill you, which is, uh, what happened, uh, during, during a few times I tested this strategy, where I did the arm slam, and while he was in the air, he just, like, landed right on top of me. Normally, he would just, uh, headbutt you for two damage, but, but really, just... You shouldn't lose at this boss fight unless uh, you accidentally uh, arm slammed him into uh, up onto you. But aside from that, look how easy this boss fight is. Just there, he's dead. Nothing to it, and that's the end of the rat race. You'd think you'd fight the rat instead. Next, this next level will probably drive most of you crazy, as it did me, because this is actually—if you thought rat race was bad, this is even worse. This is Klinger Wingers, and you have to outrun this orb by pressing the directional pad in the direction that the arrows are pointing, which is, uh, it sounds easy, but it really isn't, because you also gotta make sure when you reach the corners and you gotta make a turn, you gotta do it just, you gotta do it right to gain some speed on the Hypno Orb, because, um, everything that races you in this game is much faster than you, including the Rat and, uh, this Hypno Orb, so when, if you're going on a straightaway, you're, you're gonna get beaten by either one of those. Now, the worst part about this level, aside from the glitch that prevents Player 2 from moving and getting himself killed, is that, um, is that it's hard to give advice for this, because it's one of those levels where it's either you can do it or you can't, and that's what makes it really difficult. But I'll try and, like, give some suggestions and, uh, strategies for this, and, well, not so much strategies, more like just suggestions. And one of my suggestions is, um... Oh yeah, over here, during these many turns, you want to get good at them so you can gain some speed on the Hypno Orb, because that's your only chance to be faster than him. Uh, my advice, my suggestion is that don't jam your controller in the direction that you gotta go, because you will get the controller, like, stuck in one part, and when you try to make a turn, you're like, suddenly your toad goes, goes slower, and it's like, oh, what the fuck? Yeah, so... Lightly press it just enough that it will register it so that you can quickly uh, shift between all the directional pads. I didn't make it here. I thought I did because, like, I had a pretty decent amount of a space between me. So that got cheated out of that. But uh, I make it through on the second one, which is pretty amazing in itself because this race is not that easy. But I, but I do end up uh, enjoying the stage after getting good at it. But I'm not going to deny the fact that this stage can rather be a piece of shit. So, like I said, just... Press the controller lightly, just enough to register the direction that you're going in, so that and so that you can just shift between uh, the directional pads. Because at this point, your thumb is probably tired from the rat race, much like mine. So you don't want to put more uh, stress and tire your thumb out. And uh, if you're really bad at like uh, readjusting your uh, direction, just pause the game so that you could just like. Um, set your thumb on the right directional pad. You could try that too. Uh, but what I suggest as a game strategy, as a game strategy is to just get good at your corners and get good at this part with the many corners. Uh, there's one early on too, but it's a little shorter, so... You just gotta practice and hope you got a lot of lives to practice and just don't get frustrated with this. Just try and have fun. Remember that it's a game. Just like, you know, when you enjoy the game and this part like I did, it, uh... You know, it's just not as frustrating. It's just like, oh, well, whoops, I died. I get to try again. But that's assuming you didn't lose all your lives. So I make it through past here, thankfully. I almost thought I was going to die. And then you got to fight a boss fight. And he's not that hard if you are in control of the fight. So what you want to do is to ram into him and try and ram as close as you can to him so you can do a punch combo, pick him up, throw him to the side, ram him, pick him up, throw him to the side, Ram him, punch him, do punch combo, pick him up, ram him, or throw him, ram him, and just keep repeating this and he'll eventually die. Uh, but do be careful because uh, he has two attacks. One is to uh, electrocute you, uh, and he doesn't even need to touch you for that 
uh, like his sprite doesn't need to touch you to electrocute you. He just does it whenever the fuck he wants. And his second attack, and for some reason he didn't hit me there, uh, he can crush you and kill you in one hit when he jumps. So you don't want him to do that. Uh, I've lost quite a few lives uh, during my previous playthroughs, but uh, this is a rather successful no death boss fight, so I'm pretty proud of that. So just just keep doing this and you'll eventually beat him. He's about to die right now, I know this for a fact. Boom! Yeah, bitches! And that's uh, Klinger Wingers, on to the last level. So now we're on the last level, and remember what I said about the uh, inclu intruder excluder? About the platforming, and if you can't get good at it, you're going to have troubles here, because this is a bunch of small platforms you gotta jump on that you could easily just slip off of and die. Oh yeah, disappearing platform, how about that for this uh, level? Uh, basically, you gotta be quick and accurate when you're in this level, and advice... There's not really much advice I can give, it's just, uh, just basically... The only thing I can say is, um... Uh... Just play it through, and also watch someone going through this level so you can, uh... So you'll know what's coming up ahead, because, uh... This game kind of surprises you, uh... Without prior notice. And just be good at the platforming. Although, I'll try to do what I can for this level, because this is actually the first time, without any help, I actually beat this level uh, with relatively a low amount of deaths and no continue use, because the first time I beat the game at ANC, uh, I actually used up all my continues on this level, because I just didn't know what was coming up. So you might need to die a few times. Watch out for the spikes. Oh, I do have advice. Don't fight any of the enemies near the uh, spring platforms, because... Uh, because if you do, you'll like you'll bounce right onto the spring platform, and your attack won't actually initiate, and you'll just uh, get hit by the enemy. And it it really cheaps you out when that happens. So make sure you fight them away from the springy platforms. Also, stay in the center of the column so that uh, in case any enemy comes from the side, like this cloud right here, this cloud is relatively simple to uh, defeat, at least from my experience. Oh yeah, all the enemies uh, take more hits later on, so the early ones take less, and just they, they just get slightly uh, oh, so take slightly longer to kill. Now watch out for this jolly red fucker here. I should have died right there, but I guess he uh, closed his mouth just at the last second, so that was pretty lucky. Uh, he'll kill you in one hit by uh, by getting you into his belly. What a fat piece of shit that is. But yeah, he's basically just a recolored sprite of the yellow rhino man, which uh, me and Daniel Daniel have uh, dubbed the horny man. No, oh, he pretty much is. Oh, these clouds? You don't have... Uh, oh yeah, speaking of uh, things, but these clouds, they kill you in one hit with their bubble, much like the gas. So you want to be careful of that. And also do not punch them with your fist or else you'll flip them around and uh, they'll kill you, which has happened to me before. But on these clouds, you can actually skip them without having to fight them. You'll notice that I stop on every floor to fight an enemy. Uh, the, the screen will not scroll up unless you kill all the enemies, with, with the exception of the red clouds. So, uh, yeah, I forgot to mention about uh, how this level works. So, we just keep doing this, and I know I die quite a few times, and I kind of run out of things to say, because I've already tried recording this like four times, so I apologize for that. Uh, when we get to the part where it's just like repeating too much, I'll just do an edit of it. So beat the cloud. Ramming into him is a pretty good idea, but if you uh, you'll, you're all, you're always gonna have the stick because at one point you pretty much need to have the you're guaranteed guaranteed to have the stick. So just whack him with the stick to beat him off, and uh, if you miss him, just do the ram attack because half the time you will um, either jump over or hit him, and I screwed up here. And also have some patience in this level, because if you rush through it, uh, you're probably going to slip up and die, which is kind of what uh, has happened to me when I was playing it. So just just take your time, have some patience. You've got no time limit here. Although, certain parts later on are do require you to be uh, somewhat quick. This cloud over here, I'm going to ram right into him and uh, kill him, because he's in my way. Because, if, like I said, if you punch him, he'll turn around and he'll blow the gas in your direction. Oh, and like uh, Intruder Excluder, make sure the screen scrolls up so that you can see what's coming up, much like right over there. Right here wasn't such a good idea, and I almost die right here, actually. That other cloud almost killed me right there. So now we're just repeating the thing over again, fighting this cloud. They sure like to take their time. They're 
They kind of look like the Nimbus Cloud, but uh, who knows? These are like the bastard versions of them. So I, I think I get a little showy off here because uh, I just keep ramming him consistently, which uh, I was actually doing a pretty good job. Also, there are no flies and or one-ups in this level. Oh, speaking of uh, grinding for one-ups, oh, here I get showy off. Uh, those red clouds, if you have the stick with you, you can actually break their bullets and they uh, give you 750 points. That's actually your last chance to get any uh, life up from uh, the high score, assuming you didn't max it out like I did over here. So actually, I can't even do that. But if you use the continue and had your score uh, reset, then uh, then do that. Take take be patient. Take your time. Watch out for these stuff that's coming up. Oh yeah, you also wanna if you don't see any platforms, just walk around and like see if it's actually a green disappearing platforms. Because uh, I actually got confused a few times because it's like oh hey where's the where's the platform? Oh there it is. It's a green platform. And then you got some timing over here. It, this part's not too difficult, but later on when you have to drop down on these uh, springy platforms, uh, that part gets rather tricky and I do screw up. Wait, no, I don't think I screw up on that in here. I did screw up during uh, my first victory run, so... Just be patient. You could jump after it if, you, if you're skilled enough and uh, impatient. But uh, just just take your time and just like, jump straight up. You won't get caught off. Uh, you won't get caught off the platforms. So, jumping up again. Oh yeah, we passed quite a few checkpoints. I forgot to mention that, because uh, this this game this game doesn't quite exactly tell you where you've reached a checkpoint until you, uh, die. So, still taking my time. Taking my time. There's no rush. Other than rushing into death itself. So, just take your time. I do get a little, like, impatient with this, so I just kind of bounce my way up just to, like, uh, change the timing of the spring. This is rather annoying, I must say. Oh, come on, I totally landed on that. See, the Battletoad physics is just kind of wonky. You gotta do more than enough. It's not Mario where you can just do the bare minimum and get through it. Relatively simple. Dodge the spike. I think we're at a checkpoint. Oh, wait. Uh, no, we met with Pop a Cloud, and what you're supposed to do here is to grab onto the sticks over there so that you don't get blown off. Of course, I didn't see it right there. Oh, great. Just edit this part out, please. All right, now that we're back here, you want to grab on the stick so that you don't, you don't get blown off. You can actually see it quite a little bit uh, when you jump up, but the score, the, but the score and health bar block it, so I didn't notice that until uh, too late. And right here, jump on some platform, and I, yeah, I think you also reached a checkpoint right here. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure this. Yeah, this is the checkpoint. You reached the checkpoint here. Now, there's two ways to go about with these platforms, is to do the premature jump, or uh, jump on the third platform in these disappearing platforms, and just uh, wait until your platform disappears, then just jump straight up so you can land on the fourth platform. It's uh, rather tricky. This guy makes me panic, because it was like, ah, where's everything? I almost touched the, uh, I almost landed on that springy platform, so that was a, a good, good luck there. So you gotta deal with three of these Papa Smokes, and whatever you do, don't press the down button. That's how you release from the platform. The platform. And you gotta time it too, because you do the little smacking animation to uh, let go, and you don't just drop off immediately. Die, stupid horny man midget. Die. Stupid horny man. Just take your time, be patient, don't rush. Unless Papa Smoke is gonna kill you, then uh, then hurry, hurry the fuck up. I don't hit this guy all quite often, but I do my best. Oh, you see, that's what happens. That's what happens. That's why you don't want to attack near the springs. And I compl and I missed this for some fucking reason. I don't know why, but it cheats me out of a uh, out of the level. And now I gotta go back to that checkpoint, which isn't too far. So, so thank goodness. Uh, you can pretty much, like, jump really fast on those platforms, too, but you want to... The premature jump is where you jump on, jump onto the first platform before it actually appears so that you land onto it. Just make sure you time your uh, grabs here right, and you'll be okay. Yeah, just, just be patient and see if any platforms come in case that wasn't the point of the level. Now we got to kill the horny man again. Take that horny man, midget. Die. Die. I'm going to break your face. Stupid horny man. Want to shove his horn up your ass. So jump up here and uh, don't make the screen scroll too much. 
in order in case you accidentally accidentally triggered pop a smoke which is what happened earlier uh, when I got killed uh, the second death <sighs> go blow yourself pop a smoke this part's just ass it's 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 slow so just be patient wait for the platform and then jump onto that one and then you got one more you gotta do or is this the last one because that's this is the third one I believe there was four of them so just wait Anything coming? Nope, just that one. So time your, time your jumps. And actually, yeah, that was the last one. You didn't have to do four. Or was it four? I lost track. So you want to get to the spring because this white cloud comes up and he'll blow you off. You can't kill him, but basically his goal is to blow you off as you jump to the left up of these platforms because you're actually near the end. Now, a thing I discovered here, that which would be helpful, is to jump up, jump a little bit on the first platform, make sure the ground's still below you so you can see the next three platforms, and then, boom, you're done! Time to fight the bitch of all bitches. It's the dark, dark bitch. Alright, and I do got a strategy for this bitch. What you want to do is to do uh, ramming attacks only, and try hitting her from behind and where her feet are, because if you try attacking her from the front, uh, which you'll see me do quite a few times, I, it's only because I timed it right by accident, uh, she will kick you in the face, and if you get caught in her tornado attacks, uh, she does two damage for each hit, but she does it so fast, it's pretty much instant kill, so you don't want that to happen. So just do your headbutt, ram her in the feet, and ram her in the back. Oh, jeez, that sounded nice, wouldn't it? And, um, don't jump up to, like, punch her, because there's, like, mo half the time she usually, uh, hits you instead of you hitting her. And also, if you manage to get her to get hit by the same attack twice in a row, you can actually, like, stun her, and she'll, she'll just fall down to the ground for another free hit. You can, you can juggle this boss, too, but I haven't had too much success with that, not without dying anyways. Now, I know I said don't jump to attack, but she was in a pretty good position to do that. Because, uh, just do the headbutting strategy and just don't jump at all. It's the safest thing, but only jump if she's coming at you with the tornado on the ground. And here I'm like, uh, wait a minute, did I miscount? Apparently, for some reason, she took 22 hits here. But she's supposed to take 21 hits, and I'm like, yeah, bitches! I beat it again with no deaths. And you get one of the four endings uh, from the game. And that's Battletoads. Oh yeah, don't stay in the center when you defeat her, because uh, when she comes back up, she can actually kill you again if you're on your last life. Uh, well, that fucking sucks, doesn't it? But yeah, that's the game. I hope uh, you enjoyed this guide. I had troubles making it, and I hope it was worth it, especially if it helps you guys to beat the game, because it would just be really, really cool. Leave a comment and ask questions if you have any about this game. I pretty much uh, am pretty good at the game, and uh, I now enjoy it for what it is. And I still acknowledge the uh, bullshitty aspects of this game, but I still enjoy it as a whole. It's fun, it's challenging, and... I would play it again and again, because it's just like, it's never the same each time you play it. You'll, you might succeed, you might screw up, but uh, I think I'm getting better at it. So until then, stay tuned for more. You're the viewers, and I'm the reviewer, or the walkthrough, whichever one works. This is Wizard 100, stay tuned for more. I like it, a lot. Although certain segments I do, just... I'm going to still commentate just so that we have some consistency. Oh, the music in Battletoads. Those spikes don't kill you, by the way. Uh, despite it looking pretty threatening themselves. Move the screen up. Jump past it. Run for it. Run for it. Get on the platform. Run for it. Watch out for Green Cloud that I keep forgetting he's here. He takes his time catching his breath. Miss him. I miss him already. Slam into him. Slam, 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 jam. Didn't get hit right there. I punched him, slowed him down. Yeah, I guess I could use this for sinking. Catching his breath, he's going. I slam right into him. He's going to turn around and do it again. Yeah, he's not doing... Oh, he's, there he is. He's doing it. Oh, I hate him again. Come on, catch your breath already. Come on, bitch. Do it, faggot. He's going again. I slam right into him. I do a pretty good job. Now hurry up. 
slam right into him. Come on, move. I don't want to deal with this. Slam right into him, and he's still not dead. Now he's gone slightly faster, and I kill him right there. Jump up. Watch out for them spikes. And that <laughs> that platform floated up. I wonder if I could have used it. I wish I jumped onto it, but uh, it would have dropped me down if I did. So going up. Actually, at one point, I'd have to stop because uh, Papa Smoke uh, actually stops you from the... And I make the same mistake again. Papa Smoke stops you from um, moving up. Doing some more platforming. I wonder if you just jump immediately to uh, get onto the next platform quickly. Because it just seems that you appear just in time for it. The music here is actually... Uh, it's actually quite nice, actually. It's kind of appropriate, too. Kind of ominous. Not like Optimus Prime. I hope the audio doesn't screw up, because I'd fucking hate for that to happen, gay, or uh, audacity. 